channel if you are new to this channel welcome and if you are a returning subscriber what's good baby um so the last time i was here no some not they sweet they cute but i'm back and i'm way much more better i've regained my motivation and the strength to film and here i am so Today's video is going to be really not different, but it's my very first review video, and I am going to be reviewing Scarlet Hill eyeshadow palette. Um, it's exciting. I don't know if you should say it's exciting or networking or what, but I am one person who not doesn't really like trying out new things, but I love sticking to what I know and what I'm sure of. I love assurance, so trying out new things sometimes is a bit skeptical for me but yeah we're gonna do that today and without any more waste of time let's just get right into the video and yeah if you are not subscribed to this channel please please subscribe and don't forget to like comment and share the video and yeah let's get right into it um so this eyeshadow palette that i'm gonna be reviewing is um a nude shaded eyeshadow palette i don't know if you can understand that but it's full of nude colors and it has like nine different colors um it retails for 79.99 which is like 80 rands and yeah this is what it looks like in front and at the back it's just the warning signs ingredients and yeah that's just it so without any more waste of time i'm just gonna go ahead and try create something with this eyeshadow palette and see where it takes us i'm not even gonna do anything complicated i'm just going to try to do something really simple with like just two or three colors here and we'll see how that goes so here we go I'm gonna unwrap it. Maybe we can start doing that. We have to. Oh my god, this is so irritating. I'm sorry, guys. Um, on top, it just has like paper with the shade names and yeah I'm just gonna remove that and this is what it looks like so I am gonna first go in with this color right here on the outer and the inner part of my eye and yeah let's see I really hope this is pigmented because I've been looking forward to this the same color as my dark spots but it's very pigmented wow. okay and then I'm gonna go right ahead and use that color right there on the outer part of my eye as well
so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into the inner part of my eye and we'll see how that works out So now I'm going to take this shade right here, which I think is peach or something, and take it to the inner part of my eye. And then to top it all on top, I'm going to use these two golds right here. This one and this one. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna go right ahead and do the rest of my face, my brows, put on lashes, put on some foundation, not a lot of makeup though, and I'll come back to come give you guys my full review and tell you guys what I really think about this eyeshadow palette. See you guys just now. So um, this is what the final product looks like, and I'm just here to give you guys a rating and my final thoughts on the panel. Overall. I should say that I am happy with the pigment. The pigment is really good. Um, the eyeshadow is quality. And yeah, the only problem that I do have with it though is that this new palette is not for people of my shade. It is a bit darker for me. And it will work well as a transitioning palette, not an actual eyeshadow palette. Because the colors are a bit too dark for my eyes and my skin tone. So if you are a bit lighter than me, then I do advise you to get this because the pigmentation is good. Um, the quality of the eyeshadow is perfect. And yeah, if I had to rate this, I'd rate it an 8 over 10. And not because I don't like it, but just because I it doesn't blend well with my skin color. And yeah, I'm just going to be using this as a transitioning eyeshadow palette for me and different other eyeshadow palettes that have colors that do blend well with my skin. But yeah, overall, I am happy with the eyeshadow palette. And yeah, it is worth the 80 rands. So don't be stingy. You better go get it because it actually does wonders. I actually like how it looks. I do. And yeah. So we've reached the end of today's video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button share this video subscribe to the youtube channel and leave your comments down below in the comment section so that we can engage more on different things that you guys want to see and if you do not feel like um commenting under the comment section my dms are always open i would leave my instagram handle here and yeah you guys can just see me at any time for whatever reason that you want to talk about and i will be there to answer you guys so yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, like I said. Don't forget to comment, like I said. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.